So another thing you can do if you do a lot of bench pressing, you're probably really tight in here. So before you do your front squats or power cleans or anything like that, you might want to stretch this area out. Get your arm on a door jam or an upright and lean against that and stretch this area out. And as you do it, you can even lean into it and rub your fingers or knuckles along this area to try to break up any adhesions you might have there to loosen this up more. And the other thing you can do is do shoulder dislocates. Take a stick or a long towel or even a bungee or a jump stretch band and hang in this position and stretch this anterior part of your body out to get more flexible. Eventually you can go all the way behind your back like this. That'll help you loosen up so you can get more into external rotation and get your elbows up and out and in front of you. It doesn't really matter how long your arms are because pretty much the ratio of where your elbow is in relation to your shoulder and your form and everything, whether your arms are long or short, it's going to be the same ratio. So when you bend your arms back, it doesn't matter if your arms are short or long, clavicles short or long, you should be able to get in a position to rack a barbell properly. Something else you could try is put your fingers against your shoulder like this and just raise your elbows and start practicing that and loosening them up, stretching them so you can get in that nice rack position. Because if I clean a bar, any type of clean, when I get there I want to, boom, be able to rack that bar nice and solid and have it go into my deltoids and not my clavicles or throat. <clears throat> Something else that can really help in doing those dislocates like I mentioned is using a bungee or jump stretch band. Really kind of hang back in this position and stretch those areas. You can take your jump stretch band and use it this way also. Uh, then you'll strengthen the muscles in the back, your rhomboids, your mid and lower traps, and uh, you'll help stretch this area too. Another little technique uh, you might want to use, which everybody really should, it's an exercise called Bat Wings by uh, Dan John. And you can Google that too and find the videos of how to do it. But something that I've used is I'll take a jump stretch band get it up under my arms like this. I keep my elbows back, my hands vertical and back, and then I'll just try to raise my chest as I pinch my shoulder blades back and down like this. You can use a heavier band too, works really good. This is about a 50, this is a 50 pound band. Do about 20 reps, three sets. Believe me, if you've never done these before, uh, the next day you're probably going to get feel yourself sore up in this area, which is good because you're helping strength, strengthen all those little muscles back here to get your scaps, your shoulder blades, your scapula back in the proper position, and it also helps stretch this anterior side so that once again you can go into external rotation and get your elbows up and out in front of you when you're doing uh, racking the barbell. So uh, just a, a few pointers that can help you. Um, the other thing is, is on your front squat, if you're having trouble with the bottom, if you are used to wearing like work boots, or if you're female, you wear high heels a lot, um, your Achilles tendon will shorten up. So you might want to stretch your calves and your Achilles tendon one way is uh, get your foot up against something, keep your legs straight, and just pull yourself up against that until you feel some resistance and stretch it out. And then the other way is to bend your, put a bend in your knee and do the same thing and try to force your knee closer to that wall or that pole and uh, stretch this area out. You can do some uh, calf raises too, uh, put some weight on your back and that'll stretch it strengthen that area and so that can give you more flexibility in the bottom position so just some tips and techniques on how you might be able to solve that problem of being able to rack a barbell properly so you don't kill yourself 
definitely don't want it jammed against your throat. It doesn't feel good. You make it very hard to breathe and you could injure yourself and you don't want to be smacking yourself in your clavicle bones up here. So when you're doing any type of clean type movement, you want it to pop up into your shoulders. rather than hit you in the throat or the clavicles. So part of being able to do that is your shoulders aren't back, they're extended forward, so the weight rests here. So watch this several times, warm up, loosen up, practice, practice the techniques, and then you'll find that your front squat's gonna be uh, vastly improved. And if you wanna learn how to do power cleans and full cleans uh, and uh, cleans from the hang, things like that, or push presses, they're gonna be way more effective. So, hope this helps you. Uh, my name is Walter with Sinew and Steel. Something else I wanted to share with you concerns uh, doing barbell overhead presses, and for some people it seems to irritate their, their shoulders. Um, part of that can be a flexibility issue. They could just be too tight in here from doing a lot of bench presses and push-ups all the time. Uh, Paul Wade, in his uh, publication, Convict Conditioning, which is an excellent publication, by the way, for those who are into doing uh, body weight exercises. It has a lot of excellent progressions in here. But he mentions something in here on page 227 where he, he talks about doing uh, presses with a barbell overhead uh, can cause a person to have unhealthy shoulders. And there's a lot of other factors involved in it. It's just not the pressing of the weight overhead with a barbell. Uh, it could be a person's technique or a genetic problem or a prior injury that flares up on them. But one of the things he talks about, and the reason being, is if you look at this diagram, as you notice in this diagram, he's actually doing a press behind the neck. Now, there's a little trick for doing presses behind the neck. Number one, you have to have the flexibility, and you want to gradually work into it. For some people, it's just not a good movement because they're exter externally rotated so much their AC joint up here can, can get jammed, can get impinged. So for some people it does cause a problem. Plus you want to be able to lower the bar until it touches your traps pretty much. And the one thing I've found that makes this exercise safer is definitely uh, do the bat wings or the band work to strengthen this area um, up in here. And then remember how that feels when that's all jammed in tight and really tight. Re recreate that feeling when you're doing presses behind the neck really tighten that stuff up and get solid so your shoulders and your scapula have a stable platform to work from to press that weight which can make this a little bit safer but interestingly enough if you look at this other picture If you notice the position the person's hands and elbows are in relation to his shoulders when he's doing a handstand push-up, it's much safer for your shoulder joint. And it's kind of true when you're doing bench presses. People that bench press like this all the time usually end up having shoulder problems. Or if you bench press with the bar down here more, it's much kinder <laughs> on your shoulders. Well, the same with the, with, uh, the handstand push-up because your, your elbows are in and more in line with your body as you're pressing up. It's a little bit healthier for your shoulders. But the cool thing is, is if overhead pressing with a barbell, if it's been irritating your shoulders, well use a kettlebell, use a dumbbell, or use a barbell and use go with one hand, or seesaw presses or something to that effect. But if you learn how to rack a barbell properly, it can actually make your presses safer. So rather than doing my overhead presses strip like this with my arms here and pressing up, which some people doesn't bother them. If I rack the barbell properly, like I'm going to do a front squat or a push press, a jerk, or I just did some type of clean and I received the bar in this position, notice what happens as I start to press the bar overhead. Aha! Recognize that position? Same exact position as doing a handstand a push up. So I can press like that and it, it puts my uh, shoulders in a much healthier position. So I just thought I'd share that little extra uh, tip with you.